Tuivasa and Stipe Miocic. While the bonuses and the accolades have continued to pile up for one of the best heavyweights in the world, Stipe Miocic, and rightfully so, of course, who can forget when he wrested the belt away from Fabricio Verdun in Brazil at UFC 198? And then what he did after the fact against Alistair Overeem and Junior Dos Santos put him on a pedestal as truly one of the best heavyweights of all time. And it should, because when you have those types of names on your resume, you will be considered one of the greatest fighters the division has ever seen. Felipe has the ability to win fights in a number of ways. Unbelievable boxer, has great footwork, but also was a division one level wrestler right. at Cleveland State University. Fights fires pretty well too. He's really good at that. Yes, I went to the firehouse, and it's intense as it comes. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure the sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Mia Chich is 12 years his senior. He is two inches taller. He will have a five inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 20 wins, four losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Independence, Ohio, Steve And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, 5 losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, Ty Bam Bam And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. And when we sat down with him on Thursday, he understood the grappling challenge he was up against. He's not afraid to engage on the ground tonight. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the field. Right, early round one here, big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's gonna have to take something on the way inside. A little cut below that left eye. Miacic's hook to the body there is blocked. Shot looked pretty good, but ultimately the defense was there. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. So one minute into this fight, as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Beautiful kick. Oh, and there's a kick to the body. Not having that one blocked by the heavyweight Miocic. He loaded up that right hand, too. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense?
big leg kick land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, nice shot. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Ty Tuivas. Takedown defense holds up. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Nice punch by Ty Tuivasa. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, huge knee to the head. He could be in trouble here. Big kick lands. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. There's no give on that leg. Kick. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Big knee lands. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. Oh. His face is a mess. He's in trouble. Whoa. He's hurt bad. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Now he touches him with the left. Well, he told you off the top he had the... Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, now going to the elbow. Nicely done there by Tui Vasa. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, big left hook there. Straight right. He misses. Twenty cent. Nice double leg. Hey! Gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Second round, straight ahead. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Here we are, early round two. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, nice punch there by Tui Vasa. Another leg kick land. Oh, well, that's a good right hand. Oh, my right, fighting out of the clinch here, and not for long. Nice trip to get the takedown. Yeah, sometimes, John, you have a guy that is just so versatile. If they just do these takedowns in so many ways, you saw it in a full display right there with that trip. Tui Vasa gets crushed with that hook. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. Big kick lands. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. 
Oh, beautiful handiwork there from Stipe Miocic. His head coach, Marcus Marinelli, really feels like during this training camp, Stipe took his boxing to the next level. Nice punch here. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, back and forth we go! And now he's got that tight punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Is able to isolate that left arm. Look for him to step over the top of the head. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 53 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, Stipe Miocic! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. and. They put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he hits his back, 